of your love and a promise of lifelong dedication to each other. Before you were joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Seriously. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entering into their life to the exclusion of all others. Our civil ceremony is very simple. Just the exchange of two sets of vows repeated after me, the first when you declare that you are free to marry, and the second when you take each other as partners in your marriage. But before we come to the heart of the ceremony, I would like to invite forward Laura, who is going to read for us. Would you like to sit there? We'll get the mic. in the story that's yours to tell. We talk about the memories you've yet to make together and the moments you've already shared to be carried with you forever. But take the time to live today as your marriage begins. Look around and soak it up the moment we are in. For this is where the magic starts when you both say your vows. You pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear. But more than that, here's to right now. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Sophie. Are you ready to stand? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be asking you both. Are 
are you both ready to make your declarations and vows? Yes. Sophie, I will start with you. Okay, you just have to repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I, Sophie Emma de Bourne, why I, Sophie Emma de Bourne, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony to Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. To Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Max, are you ready? Okay. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Why I, Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. Why I, Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony to Sophie Emma de Bourne. To Sophie Emma de Bourne. We now come to the heart of the ceremony where our couple exchange their contracting words. Because they're saying them to each other, and they are looking lovingly at each other already, and joining hands, they're in exactly the right position. Again, they're going to be repeating these vows after me, but saying them to each other. So again, Sophie, can I start with you? I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Sophie Emma de Bourne. That I, Sophie Emma de Bourne. Do take thee. Do take thee. Max Anthony. Adelaide. <laughs> Sorry. Adeline. Max Oliver <laughs> Anthony <laughs> Barrow. <laughs> Max. Oh, wait. <laughs> Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. Max Oliver Anthony to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. We've got Max now. Ready? I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. That I, Max Oliver Anthony Barrow. Do take thee. Do take thee. Sophie Emma de Bourne. Sophie Emma de Bourne to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Now we're going to take a moment as well because Max and Sophie have their own personal vows which they'd like to share with each other. interrupted our girls' night and started chatting to me. I don't remember much from this exchange, but I guess it must have gone pretty well. Fast forward to 2023, and here we are with all our amazing friends and family, and I truly feel like the luckiest girl in the world that this chance meeting has led to the best thing that has ever happened to me. You are very good at everything, which I can find quite annoying. <laughs> However, lucky for me, you are not only good at table tennis or spike ball, but you are also the best other half I could ever wish for. You make me laugh every day. You are kind, generous, and my biggest cheerleader. You believe in me even when I don't believe in myself. I can't wait to start this new chapter as husband and wife. We make a brilliant team and together we can achieve anything. I simply can't imagine my life without you. 
I love having a roast dinner with you every Sunday. I secretly love the trash TV you subject me to watch. And I even love when you set your alarm five minutes before you need to get up, just so you can have a cuddle. Even though I complain at the time. So please don't ever change. And in return, I promise to be the best husband for you, because you deserve the best. with love Thank you. 
they'll be doing that in the summer house here so if you could remain in your seats whilst we're doing that we will be back with you shortly i will need nikki and vanessa to join us as well it's much cooler than that. wonderful day of celebrations with your family and friends. So to you all, can I ask you to stand? Confetti at the ready. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not yet. Okay, <laughs> I give you your newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Barrow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Congratulations, guys.